The Chinese Spring Festival officially comes to an end. Now in the West for New Year, it's only a one night event, right? Whereas in China, well, it lasts a couple of weeks with loads of celebrations. And now we have the Lantern Festival, which has history stretching back over 2,000 years. And it always lands on the 15th day of the lunar calendar. And the lunar calendar always changes every year. So there is no fixed date because it depends on the moon. And what's so special about the Lantern Festival is that it's the first day where there is a full moon. And so the Lantern Festival symbolises perfection because it symbolises the full moon. Now, the Lantern Festival is without doubt one of my favourite festivals in China and I think personally the most beautiful. And really before I came to China I didn't really know what to expect about the Lantern Festival. And I don't think many people in other countries outside of China realise too. There's a lot of history, a lot of culture and there's a lot of things to do which you might just be surprised about. And so today I'm here to explain what the Lantern Festival is by coming to the biggest Lantern Festival in Shanghai, one of the biggest cities in China. So, of course, there are going to be millions of tourists. Last year alone, there were four million tourists who visited this place. This year, probably there are going to be more because there are so many people here today. This is one of the busiest weeks to come even. And lanterns are not just little red paper lanterns that go in the sky. They can be decorated beautifully in different shapes like animals, mythical creatures, or even scenes from Chinese history and culture. You need to pay some money to get inside this place, but it's well worth it. People dress up in traditional clothing to take photos. There's dancing and singing performance and lots of activities. Each year has a different theme with different lanterns. So this year is the year of the long. And so you have many dragon lanterns, but also they've got a theme with marine animals. So we'll see a lot of fish and sea creatures this year. But why lanterns, you might be asking? Well, according to Chinese reports, the legend is that thousands of years ago, the Jade Emperor, he had a bird that was mistakenly killed by some of the villagers. And he got really, really angry at this. So he decided to burn the whole village. But the emperor's daughter was very sympathetic towards the villagers. And so she warned the rest of the villagers. And so they decided on that day, on the 15th day of the lunar month, when he was about to burn it down, that they were going to set off fireworks and set off red lanterns to make it look like it was already on fire. And so the plan was cancelled. The emperor thought, oh, it's already on fire. And they were all saved. And so from then on, we all set off lanterns on the 15th day of the lunar month. It's also a festival supposedly to find love because historically it was one of the very few times where young men and young women would meet in public. And so nowadays some parents would use it as an excuse to set up their children with other people. So there we go. How can you guys celebrate the Lantern Festival? Well, maybe you can make your own lantern with red paper. You can buy one from a shop. Maybe if there's a Chinatown near you, you can go there. They might have some big event. But also, Chinese people will eat something called Tang Yuan. It's a type of dessert that we'll have for the Lantern Festival. I've got some here, and this is a very sweet dessert. You've got these little sticky rice balls with red beans. It's really delicious, especially in the cold month like it is now. It really does warm you up. So there we go then, guys. Hope you have a lovely Lantern Festival and hope you can celebrate wherever in the world you are, whether that's by making your own paper lanterns or whether you're just going to eat some tasty Tang Yuan. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.